Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Think Future. My name is Chris Kalabukas, and once again, we're coming at you live from deep in the heart of Silicon Valley, California. We're talking innovation startups, the future, not necessarily those and not necessarily in that order. If you're watching on YouTube, smack that subscribe button and hit that bell so you can be notified when a new show comes online. And if you're listening on your favorite podcast service, please subscribe and please drop a note on Apple Podcasts. I'd greatly, greatly appreciate it. Now, you are a short-term thinker. I'm making a prediction. I'm making a, I'm making, I mean, it's not a prediction. It's more of a supposition. You are probably a short-term thinker. Don't feel bad. Don't feel bad because most human beings are short-term thinkers. It's part of our genetic makeup, you know? If you think about it, we really haven't evolved much from sort of cave people wandering around the savannas. Well, that can't be right, right? Those are the caves or savannas. It can't be caves and savannas. Anyway, you know what I'm saying is that we, as a race, human beings, we really haven't evolved that much from that because we still we still have fight or flight reflexes we still have all sorts of bestial things that we do we're still kind of like animals in some way and if you think about it our brain actually has three three layers you've got the dinosaur brain at the bottom and then you got another layer of brain on top of that and then you have the most advanced layer of brain on, on top so we actually have three brains like one layered over the other but our dinosaur brain our initial brain is still in there nobody took it out so we still have those same instincts as animals, as, as cave people. So what happens is a lot of times the, that part of the brain ends up being the one that does the most thinking for people, the automatic system. Because if you think about it, most of us do go through our days in an automated fashion. In fact, we, we like to go through our days in an automated fashion because it makes it easy for us to go through our days. Like if you have a routine of when you get up, when you have breakfast, what you eat for breakfast, when you go to the office, when you don't go to the office, blah, blah, blah. If you have this routine all mapped out, you can basically almost go through your entire day in an automated fashion without really thinking about it too hard. And only think about it when something surprising occurs and then your brain kicks into gear. The other higher levels of brain kick into gear. Right? It's kind of like when you're driving to work, it's automatic. Drive back and forth, drive back, back and forth, back and forth. But then there's an accident or then there's something happens or there's something occurs or there's this rainstorm or something like that. There's something surprising happens and then your brain kicks in. But the rest of the time, you're on autopilot. See, I think that's the problem with us is that we get stuck into these grooves, these habits, these things that we just do over and over and over again because it's easy. It's a lot simpler for us to just get into a habit and just do the same thing over and over again because we don't have to think about it. We know exactly what we're gonna do at 7 p.m. on a Tuesday night. We know exactly what we're gonna do at this day on this time. I mean, sometimes we, we leave some space for other things, but most of the time we just go with what we know because it's comfortable, we're used to it, it's a habit. The problem is, this is all short-term thinking. It's all, what are we gonna do next, what are we gonna do next? How many of us actually plan far, far out? How many of us actually plan solid goals far out, right? We might have vague goals. Oh, I'm gonna retire with this, or I'm gonna buy a boat, or I'm gonna do this, or I'm gonna do that. We may have these vague goals, but do we ever have solid plans or solid thoughts of what we're going to achieve or what we're gonna accomplish? Well, rarely. Rarely do we think that far out. And especially nowadays with all this stuff going on, you know, with coronavirus and, and, and wars and politics and, and all this stuff that's going on, a lot of us don't want to think long-term. We don't want to think long-term because it's very difficult to think long-term. It's very difficult to think into the future because thinking into the future means you have to decide on a path. And thinking into the future means you have to step away from your habitual way of doing things and come up with a path into the future. Do I want to continue being and doing what I am today, 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now? Do I still want to be doing what I'm doing today, 10 years from now? How many of you are thinking, like let's say you are 25 right now. Let's say you're 25 years old and you're watching this. 
Have you a thought of where you're going to be when 30, you're 35? No. You can't think 10 years out. Have you thought 10 years out? Very, very few of you have thought 10 years out. So here's my, here's my uh, suggestion. Right now, all of us think short term. We're all thinking short term. That's a normal thing for human beings. It's part of our dinosaur brain. It's part of what we do. We're worried about the immediate. It's kind of like animals. Look at your, your cats, your dogs. You think your cats and your dogs are thinking about next week? You're thinking about next year? No, they're not even thinking about, they're not even thinking about tomorrow. They're thinking about what are you going to feed me today? How are you going to play with me today? That's what they're thinking about. We are, have the capacity as human beings to think into the future. But we purposely don't think too far into the future because we're worried that we're not going to be able to predict the future. But like I said in the last show, a lot of times when you build a concept, when you come up with an idea, an idea of something that can't be done yet but can be done in the future, that can become an inspiration for something that will be created in the future. And if we don't have long-term thinking, if we don't use long-term thinking to think about that future, that future goal, that future product, that future thing that we're going to be creating, then we can't envision it. We're stuck in today. We're stuck in the short term. When you're building a startup, are you building a startup for your next round of funding? Are you building a startup for the exit? Or are you building a startup that could last 25 years? Are you building the next Dell? Or are you building the next aardvark or the next home joy? Those ones that lasted a year or two and then what are you doing? Think long term. Not enough of us think long term. So if we think long term and we envision that future 10 years from now, then you can work backwards to figure out how you're going to get there. You know, everyone thinks Thinking about the future is so difficult. But if you ask me, all you really need to do is imagine the future that you want to have. Imagine that future. Visualize that future. Visualize where you're going to be in 10 years. Then once you have that visualized, backcast to today and figure out how you're going to get there. It's like going through a maze backwards. Go through a maze backwards. It's real easy. Real easy. So figure out where you're going to go and work backwards to get where you are now. That's it for me for today. See you next time. And until then, don't forget to think future.